Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing the This or That Beauty Tag. Okay, so the first category is makeup. So, blusher or bronzer? Um, this is tricky. I think because I'm quite pale and quite fair skinned, I'd have to say bronzer because then I can give myself a bit more of a glow throughout the rest of the year when I haven't got a tan. So, definitely bronzer. Um, lip gloss or lipstick? Oh, I've got to say lip gloss just because I find with lipstick it can take a lot longer to apply and I kind of am really lazy and it's just easy to just get a lip gloss and put it straight on. Eyeliner or mascara? Um, I'd say mascara, I can definitely live without eyeliner. Like, especially like today when I have faffed around doing a flick on my eye and it took me about 20 minutes. <laughs> Just mascara will it do. It looks really nice though. Thank you. It took me a long time. <laughs> okay, the next one is foundation or concealer? <sighs> that is such a hard one. <laughs> I've kind of gone off foundations a bit and I've gone into more like BB and CC creams because my skin's got quite good. I think I'll have to say concealer, definitely, because especially my under eye bags and when you get the occasional blemish, it just does the trick, so definitely concealer. Neutral or colour eyeshadow? Definitely neutrals for me, it's just easier and they tend to go with everything, whereas if you do like a really bold colour eye, you have to be quite sort of outgoing and outrageous. Mm. I think it's easier to pull off a neutral eye than it is um, a colour eyeshadow. Pressed or loose eyeshadows? Definitely pressed because I find I've got a few MAC pigments and they just get absolutely everywhere. You have to be so careful when you apply them. Mm. So definitely, definitely pressed. Brushes or sponges? Definitely brushes. They're all so the much way. easier to clean. Yeah. They don't soak up all the product, especially with foundation if you're using sponges. Sponge just tends to absorb it and you end up using more of the product yeah, than definitely. you would do. Even with the eyeshadow brushes as well, the sponges are absolutely... Rubbish. <laughs> yeah. The next category is nails, and the first question is OPI or China Glaze? What is China Glaze? <laughs> Sorry guys, I have no idea what it is. I was looking at the screen thinking, I've never heard of this before. Okay. So definitely OPI. Sophie's got a load of OPI. I'm I've not. got a couple of the mini sets, and I love them. So. Sorry to any China Glaze fans, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> definitely OPI, yeah. Long or short? I've always had, up until about two years ago, I used to bite my nails and they were really, really short. And I've grown them long enough to have nice gels on them. Um, so I'm going to say long, but they can't, like, I don't like them ridiculously Not, yeah, long, like, long. to the end of your fingers. Uh, the next is acrylic or natural? Definitely natural because I've had acrylics a couple of times and I've had gels. And I get to the point where, like, after about a week and a half, I have to pick them off. Mm. And then they pretty much ruin my nails, so definitely natural. Brights or darks? I definitely go for brights. I know you would say darks for mm. this because you're more like reds and things like that. But yeah. I go for like turquoise and green and blue and anything leery. <laughs> flower or no flowers? Like nail art flowers? No flower. I've had, like I said, when I've had acrylics, I've had designs on them. And they are really pretty, but I've kind of got to the point now where I don't think like acrylics are that mm. kind of in fashion as such and I don't really like all the crazy designs so definitely no flower. The next category is fashion so jeans or jogging bottoms? Definitely jeans. I do have some um, jogging bottoms but I don't tend to wear them maybe if it's really cold I'm at home and wear them like if I'm getting ready for bed or something but definitely jeans I wear them pretty much every day. Long sleeve or short sleeve? Short sleeve. When have you ever seen me in long <laughs> sleeves? I really... I don't know what it is. I don't like the feel of like certain materials on my arms. So pretty much most of the year I wear short sleeve. <laughs> Dresses or skirts? Oh, this is so... This is hard. That's a hard one for you. Dresses or skirts? Because I wear a lot of like midi skirts and skater skirts or midi dresses and skater dresses. I'm going to say dresses because um, a lot of dresses you can get really nice patterns and really nice shapes and things now and you can always wear like jumpers or cardigans over the top yeah. so it's not just a dress and things like that. So dresses. Striped or checked? Um, mm, I like both. I'd have to go with stripes. Flip flops or sandals? Uh, definitely flip flops. I've actually, the most worn pair of flip flops I have, you bought me for my birthday and they're black Roxy ones and they're honestly the most comfortable pair of flip flops I've ever had. Like I have got Havianas but they're just not as comfy as these ones not okay. and I can't wait for it to get a bit warmer so I can stop wearing Converse all the time. Scarves or hats? Scarves. I definitely. own about two hats <laughs> and I just find 
they mess up your hair and I'm just like, oh, I'm really, really fussy with hats, so definitely scarves. I have so many scarves. I just wear scarves with everything. <laughs> Studs or dangly earrings? Well, I can't have an opinion on this because I don't even have my ears pierced. Okay, like so looking, um, looking at other people, I think I think studs look nicer. Studs, they're a bit more yeah. classier, but I don't like piercings. They're not my thing. They might feel a bit nauseous. But yeah, definitely on other people, studs. Necklaces or bracelets? Bracelets. I'm kind of similar in that department. I've got a bit better. I do wear a lot more necklaces now because they're kind of quite a nice fashion statement, but definitely bracelets. Maybe moving on to necklaces in the future. <laughs> Heels or flats? Definitely flats. Even on nights out now, I'll tend to wear flats or trainers or pumps or something just because you get to two o'clock in the morning and, and you're just, you're like, just complaining. To take them off. Yeah. That mm. New Year's Eve we went out, yeah. I got a brand new pair of heels and they were so nice and it got to about It didn't even get to not midnight. Even, <laughs> not even midnight and I was sitting down with my shoes off. I couldn't put them back on because yeah. I was in that much pain. So definitely, definitely flats. flats. Maybe if you're going out for a meal and you know you're gonna be sitting down yeah, with them heels. But bad. otherwise definitely flats. A jacket or hoodie? Uh, probably a hoodie. Mm, I don't. I don't really wear that many jackets, like I said, because I don't like things on my arms. But um, yeah, I kind of wear a lot of hoodies, especially when I go to the gym. I always have a hoodie to put like over the top, and they're kind of just you know if you pop into the shop or anything, they're just a nice little thing to put on if it's a little bit chilly outside. So hoodie. Forever Twenty One or H and M. I'm going to be really biased here, but I did work in H&M for three years, so I am going to say H&M. They're the best basics range, and all of their like trend collections and things like that, they're really affordable and they're really nice, but you have to sort of hunt for it yeah. in H&M. Like, things, are sometimes, like the, the rails are really full, so you do have to hunt, but definitely H&M for me. Zara or Topshop? I'm going to have to say Zara, because I've got that black jacket I've got yeah, from Zara when I went when we went shopping and I love it and I've had it for like nearly three years now and I wear it all the time. Mm. Kind of with Topshop, I don't go in there that much, but I do like their knee jeans and one-off pieces, but I'm going to yeah. have to say Zara. The final category is hair. So, curly or straight hair? Curly, and I've got my hair straight today, but when I can be bothered, <laughs> I do curl my hair, or sometimes I leave it when it's quite damp, like just in a plait, like I did a couple of days ago, and then it just comes out really nice and kind of wavy, curly-ish, so I definitely prefer my hair curly anyway, so. Bun or ponytail? Definitely a bun for me, it's just easier for me to put up, and where I do have my hair in a bun so often, if I have it in a ponytail, it just like looks like this out of control mess mm. and it just sticks out and you have to straighten it and I just can't bother so bun definitely. Uh, bobby pins or butterfly clips? Bobby pins, I think with the butterfly clips I think they mean the ones with the kind of like rigid edges they're really good to put in buns like when you put if you have a donut bun and then they're really good and they actually keep really secure but just personally I think I prefer bobby pins. Hairspray or gel? Definitely hairspray. I think, I don't use it as much as I used to, like I think I've probably had the same can of hairspray for about the last six months where I have got very lazy with doing my hair, but um, yeah, definitely hairspray. Long or short hair? Long! I had this thing at like, well I say a couple of years ago, probably about five or six years ago when I was still at school, and I cut my hair, well it kind of was really long, gradually got shorter, 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 and almost a bob. And looking back at the pictures now, it was really horrible, and I don't know why, I think everyone goes through like crazy face yeah. and like, oh I need short hair but it really doesn't suit me so I think I'll always have long hair. Light or dark? What, what would you call this? You're I'm like in sure. Between. It's in between because it, it when it's freshly dyed it's bright orange but now it's sort of more auburny and I really like it like this. The ends are a bit lighter where I dip dyed it about a year ago and they're slowly growing out. So in the middle. <laughs> in I between. think I prefer you with light hair because yeah, I did have black I had hair dark before, hair, it? and I was just like, I yeah. think it really washes you yeah, out. Yeah, I had I had like black hair about when was that four years ago, and then, yeah, it makes me look really pale. So light to medium hair. So side fringe or full fringe? Full fringe. I also had a crazy phase <laughs> where my hair. I don't know if anyone's ever done this, and I really don't like it, but. Some girls have their parting so far over the Next side of their, their head, ear. it's literally like down here, and then they'll make like a makeshift fringe, mm. and it just looks really horrible. I yeah, don't, I just like it all that. Face. I think if I personally prefer full fringes, if someone's going to have a fringe, definitely a full fringe. 
And the last question, up or down? Mm. I'm going to say down because I think my hair looks nicer when I've made an effort and it's down. Like today I've actually curled it with my wand. Um, and when my, my hair's up, if I do it too tight I actually sometimes get a headache. So yeah. I'm going to say down. Although it sometimes gets in your mouth if you've got lip gloss on and it sometimes might get a bit annoying. But I prefer my hair down. Thanks for watching this video, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is a tag video, so we tag all of you watching. We want to see what your this or that would be, um, and we'd really like to see those, so if we, we think you should start making some videos. Also, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much to all of our new subscribers. If you didn't know already, our blog posts are on Wednesdays, that is thecococrush.blogspot.co.uk. And also, our videos will be going up every Sunday. See you next week. Bye. Bye.